We want to take a few minutes and look at the weapons that Satan uses to enslave us. We've mentioned there's two, hollow and deceptive philosophies that are based on human tradition. We are to be people of wisdom. This is what philosophy is, a philosophy that begins centered on God is part of what leads to a person and an individual flourishing. But a philosophy that is based on creation or based on humanism, on the worship of man, these philosophies are hollow. They have no weight, no substance, and they are deceptive, they deceive. Like Satan himself, they lie. And our worlds, our countries are governed by lies. The second weapon that Paul calls the basic principles of the world, and that's a little more confusing. What does he mean by the basic principles of the world? The word in the Greek, is the word stokion, and it means first principles, or fundamental principles, or elementary principles. And they are translated to mean the ABCs of culture. So the title of this session is the ABCs of culture, and this is where the title comes from. It's the Greek word stokion. Satan lies, and he lies at the level of culture. He lays false building blocks for nations to be built upon. There's a very good book for those of you that uh, are working or planning on working among animistic peoples. It's called communicating Christ in an animistic context, and it's written by a missionary to East Africa named Galen Van Rienen. And he has a very powerful paragraph in his book on spiritual warfare. And he says this, the systemic view of spiritual warfare sees the powers as personal spiritual beings who are actively impacting the social, economic, and political structures of society. We need to look at this carefully. First of all, the powers are personal spiritual beings. We're not talking here about Star Wars or impersonal energy forces. No, Satan and his minions are real. They are persons. They are alive. They're not a force. But they are evil personalities. They are demonic. So we're dealing with personal spiritual beings, but then notice what he says next, that these beings are actively impacting the social, economic, and political structures of society. The spiritual impacts the physical through culture. The spiritual realm is actively impacting our nations in the realm of politics, economics, and in the the larger society. Where does corruption come from? It is born out of the mind of the principalities and powers in heavenly places. but it doesn't stay in heavenly places. It manifests itself here. 
And how does it manifest itself? In injustices in the political system. It manifests itself in slavery. In the social realm. In apartheid. In India you have the caste system. These are institutional evils. And they are the manifestation of these lies at the level of culture. So it's not that these uh, demons are just out there. No. They are daily impacting the institutions of our societies that thus impact our lives. Do we even look at things this way? When we look at an institution like the, the injustices to women today, how many women in your country are used as sex slaves? Where does this come from? It comes from the demonic. Then he continues, these powers have established their own rules and regulations that pull cultures away from God. How do authorities rule? All authorities rule by creating laws and ordinances. Our federal government establishes laws the state government, the city government. Our churches have bylaws. Every government rules through laws. How does God rule? God rules through laws and ordinances. How does Satan rule? He creates counterfeit laws and ordinances and these counterfeit laws and ordinances pull people away from God, pull nations away from God. An example of how God rules, we have the law of gravity. And if you were to go to the top of a high building and stand there and say, I don't believe in the law of gravity, and you step off, what would you find? The law of gravity works. It's very simple. Gravity works. And you would fall, and depending on how high the building is, you'd be injured or you could be killed. The universe has moral law. One of the moral laws is thou shalt not commit adultery. You cannot break that law. It is an immutable law. But if you go out and commit adultery, you haven't broken the law, you have broken yourself. You are broken against God's immutable law. You suffer. Your family suffers. Your spouse suffers. Authorities rule through laws and ordinances. Satan has created counterfeit laws and they pull people away from God, and it is these laws that are literally the rudimentary principles, the ABCs of culture. These are the directives through which the powers have established legalistic control of society. Stokaya within these contexts are the demonic contortions of human society. Satan lies at the level of culture and he twists and he turns and destroys societies. And the powers, although personal spiritual beings have invaded the very fabric of society, thus even Christian institutions reflect these demonic influences when the powers invade human institutions. Even Christian institutions reflect these lies. Why? Because 
A church is born in the midst of a culture. And if the church is not discipling the culture, the culture will disciple the church. In South Africa, you had apartheid. And the church was caught up in the middle of this. In the United States, we had slavery. And slavery created divisions in churches. And some churches were holy slave churches. Because the demonic impacts society and thus impacts the churches in society. Now again, what are these Stokian? They are the fundamental principles of culture. We have fundamental principles everywhere. If you want to learn to read and write, you must first learn the alphabet. If you want to learn to do mathematics, you must first learn numbers. If you want to play music, you must first learn the notes. If you want to do, be an artist, you must first learn colors. These are the stokion, the fundamental principles of these disciplines. And we have the fundamental principles of culture. I want to use these simple building blocks as illustrations. Many of you have these blocks at home. You got them as a child. I know my mom and dad gave me a set when I was a kid because they wanted me to be prepared to go to school. They wanted me to learn my letters, my numbers, my colors. So when I went to school, I would be prepared to learn to read and write, to do math, and to learn to draw and paint. We will say that these building blocks represent kingdom building blocks. The laws, the ordinances of the kingdom of God. If a nation had only kingdom building blocks at its foundation, that nation would be solid. The foundation would be secure. But what happens? We have a liar. He's known as Satan. And he lies at the level of culture. And he comes along and he says, why are you using these blocks? They're all alike. They're no good. <laughs> Use this one. Look at that color. Here's another one. Why? These are bad blocks. Get rid of them. Here's one. This has a nice point on it. <laughs> Let this be part of your foundation. Here's another one. Get rid of it. Here's one that rolls. Put that one in place. Here's another one. Look at this nice curve. That's really special. Now, build your nation on my foundation. Satan is a liar. And he lies at the level of culture. And when we believe his lies, we are enslaved. When you look at the nations of Africa and Asia that are impoverished, when you look at impoverished communities in the Western world, it's not lack of resources. It's lies. 
What we need to do as Christians is not only take the gospel, but we need to see the importance of truth, beauty, and goodness for the th- causing nations to thrive. We need to consciously work to lay at the foundation of our nations biblical principles and kingdom building blocks and expose the lies of Satan because that is what's bringing poverty and misery to our world. I'd like you to reflect for a few moments I've said that the spiritual impacts the physical through culture. That Satan is not an energy force, he is a person. And that these personalities, the demonic world, impact the social, economic, and political institutions in our societies. And I'd like you to look at your society and see some of the ways that you can see this impact of the demonic. And how has this impact even infected your church? 